So you're probably all wondering which item would somebody maybe rather find than gold? This one sold for $2,025. How incredible is that? Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, we're gonna have a little fun with this video. Would you rather find this Bolo, this big money Bolo, or would you rather find gold? So for me, it's like, well, how much gold are we talking about? How much do I have to pay for the gold? So there's too many variables. The question is just not, it's not specific enough for me to give you an answer, but I threw this question out there to my members on my community page and they sent me some videos. So as we're doing this category video on this big money bolo, <laughs> we're going to hear what some of my members have to say about would they rather pick up this big money bolo or would they rather pick up gold? Let's get started. So you're probably all wondering which item would somebody maybe rather find than gold? One thing about gold is gold holds its value, but you know what? So does this item. It really does. So let's look at some uh, let's look at some some solds. And I have done my research. So the ones that I am showing you, I have made sure that they actually sold and feedback was left, okay? Hi, my name is Rebel and my YouTube channel is The Rebel Reseller. What a fun idea, Courtney. Which would I prefer, Rushton or Gold? If anybody knows me and my channel, it's going to be Rushton. It is the holy grail. It is the unicorn that we all look for as stuffed animal uh, niche people. So definitely Rushton would be the answer. No, I get to give my answer too, right? Okay. I would pick gold. That way I can get some sort of brain scan done on my wife to find out why <laughs> would you ever prefer a ready looking old plush Rushton, because you know it's not going to be in fancy shape, over gold so we could retire in luxury. And besides, you already got a unicorn. You got me. Bye. <laughs> So the category is Rushton, R-U-S-H-T-O-N. These can range from bread and butter to huge money. And when I say huge money, I'm talking over $1,000. Um, tush tags, they can all be a little bit different. This one doesn't even have a tush tag. Um, I'm not even sure how they know this one is Rushton other than perhaps maybe they used Google Lens and found some identifying characteristics that made them know that it was a rushed in. So that one sold for a hundred. This guy right here is a rubber face cowboy bunny rushed in star creation, 1962. Man, look at the condition of that face. This one is in really good condition. I will tell you sometimes when you find rushed in, they can be really, really ratty. And even the ratty ones can sell for big bucks. So um, I'm going to see if there's a tush tag on this one. Um, so far, I am not seeing anything. So I, maybe some of them aren't marked. I don't know. I figured they would all be marked. Does that say Japan? Looks like it. So this one, $249.99 is what it says. But I went in and I dug a little deeper and it looks like it was on auction for $249.99. And you can do auction with a best offer. I'm not 100% sure that's what happened here, but that is what my best guess would be based on what I'm seeing. So they probably had it at $249.99 or best offer. And somebody probably came in and offered them $700 because I'm over here on Terapeak. And it, this is showing that the sold price of this item was $700. So um, if the buyer takes the offer, it's only going to show you on eBay the $249.99, the original starting bid. So 
just something to be mindful of. And we're going to go in and talk about other ways to look up comps also that you might not have thought of that are free. Uh, right here, you can see a fantastic seller to deal with. This is an awesome Russian toy in excellent condition. $700 right there. What the heck? Crazy old lady. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you, are you videotaping me? Courtney asked if I would rather find rushed and plush or gold. And I have both. And I don't want anybody else to have it. So I'm digging a hole. I'm digging a hole. I'm gonna put my, my rushed and plush and my gold in the hole because I don't want anybody else to have it. You need help. Maybe. So, hey guys, it's Noelle, Farm Girl Scavenger. Check out my YouTube channel and feel free to uh, follow the links in my YouTube to my eBay store. And I guess my point with all of that is, and I hope you enjoyed that little skit, is why choose? You can have it all. If you're good at what you do and you're not afraid to pick things up, that look like this and then turn them into this, then you too can find rushed and plush. Yes, this is a rushed and. Um, go on my Instagram and you'll see a little to, a little thing. Yes, this is a rushed and. Oop, I can't get it there, rushed and. Trust me, it's a rush. And if you're paying attention at garage sales and estate sales, you too can find gold. Gold. What we got here? That's silver. Those are gold. Yes, you too can you can find it all. Don't choose. Go for both. All right, Farm Girl Scavenger out. Thanks so much, Courtney. I had fun with this. Here is a vintage Rushton Bear Large Mighty Mouse Rubber Face Star Creation. This one sold for five hundred dollars. Again, you know it's got some condition issues, but these are old. I'm trying to find you guys some tags. Okay, here is a tag right here. They've got on gloves. Some people won't touch old things unless they have on gloves. So Rushton Star Creation. And again, you're going to see different types of tags on these. So if you see Rushton, definitely pick it up. 500 on that. Hey, y'all. It's Rhonda from Got Junk in Our Trunk. And today I have a bolo for you. We know as resellers that we always want to look for Rushton, especially if we've dealt in plush very much. We usually see like Santa Clauses. There's some of the um, different type of animals that we'll find. Well, today I have one that you probably haven't found, at least in this condition. I found Daisy the cow. She's kind of a little bit harder to find, but in this condition, you usually don't see her this moth-eating. <laughs> I bought her at a yard sale. I ended up paying $2 for this thing, and here's what she sold for. You always want to look for the Rushton. That's your bolo for today. Happy junkin'. That one? This octopus, oh my goodness, how stinking cute is that face? Oh, but look at it. I mean, it's not in great condition. It looks dirty and, but you know, it doesn't matter. This still sold for $500. Look at the bottom. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's quite nasty, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Um, 
sometimes it's better to not clean these and just let the person buying it clean it because they probably know what they're doing more than just us who don't clean things all the time. But even in this condition, it sold for $500. I'm Kristen. I'm a real squirrel. So Courtney sent us a message and said, hey, would you rather find gold or what was it called? Oh, hold on just a second. Or this plush. Maybe I should look it up. Hold on. Oh, okay, that, I just, I didn't realize. I had to check the comps because I had no idea. I probably would pick it up if I saw it at the bins, but I wouldn't know that it was that valuable. Wow. So prior to having her ask me whether or not I wanted to find gold, <laughs> yes, <laughs> or this plush, I would say both. I want to find both. Is that, an, is that an answer? Can I pick both? Is there... <laughs> Is there A, B, and C? Can I pick C, Courtney? Because <laughs> I want to find both. I like gold. I I like finding cool things that I have to learn about, but I'm going to pick both. Thanks. Follow me for more info. <laughs> Kristen, Roll Squirrel. You can find me on Instagram, YouTube, um, whatnot, Facebook, all the things. Thank you. Look at this little cutie. It's a Rushton, or it's a vintage gunned Rushton bumblebee. So I don't know if that was a collaboration video. I never understand the pop cans beside the bear, uh, I guess, to show size. But I just use a tape measure. Um, I feel like this person probably feels like they're going to get a soda with their uh, with their purchase. So there's part of the tag. I really wish we could see the whole entire tag. So wishing there was more photos on this one. Unfortunately, there is not. But this sold for $150. And actually, wait a minute. Is this the one? Sorry, this was another auction. So 150 or best offer. And you can see right here, it ended up selling for 375. And this one went to Australia. So they probably paid um, extra for customs and everything. So it's probably well over four or $500 maybe even for that. Hey guys, my name is Tanya, known as Double T's Treasures here on YouTube. And Courtney asked us a question this morning. She asked us, would you rather find a Rushton plush or find gold. To me, that's like the same thing I feel like because Rushton would be gold. That's how I would feel about it if I found it. I just want to find one so I can pinch those little rubber cheeks. I have yet to find one. I always look in the plush. I am a plush seller. And if you don't know what Rushton plush are, let me just show you some of these sold comps. And of course, some are more rare than others, but you really can't mistake that little rubber face. So to answer your question, Courtney, absolutely would choose the Rushton plush. Bye y'all. Look at this guy, Rushton Company rubber face, goofy bloodhound dog. This one sold for $664.99. He's bigger. Um, now, this one, it's actually written on the plastic. So that's good to know that you can actually look um, in other areas. I've only seen tags before. So I'm not sure what that is. So they're just trying to point out everything. Okay, so here's the tag I was thinking of. The Rushton Company, Atlanta, Georgia. $664.99 on that guy. And you can see right here, oh, that's weird. Okay, let's look at this one. I, I pulled all these up last night. So uh, $664.99, they must have taken a best offer because I'm looking here and it says it sold um, for $498.74. So either way, we're looking at the $500 range for that one. Here's another octopus. If you can find the octopus, it seems to be like the main, the main one. Uh, $1,742. So one thing you can do is you can go into the bid history and you can look at how many unique bidders. There were 15 bidders, 43 bids. Uh, the winning bidder had 279 feedback, okay? So after you do that, you can go into the feedback and you can type in Rushton. How did I check this one? Maybe it was the next one that I checked. Okay, so this one did not have feedback, but it had um, 15 bids on this one. And 
the winning bidder had 279. So another thing that you can go in and do is you can go into the seller's store, see other items, and you can type in Rushton and nothing came up. So that tells me that this item was a legit sale because even though there was no feedback left, the person that bought the item had over 200 feedback and the item was not relisted. So I'm going to guess that that was a good sale. And that's the most research I can do for that. Here's another octopus. This one sold for $2,025. How incredible is that? These are so stinking cute. Um, I know you all want to find one of these. Um, I think I would like to find one of these over gold. Ah, did I just say that? I mean, it depends on... I mean, if I'm walking down the street and I find some gold, okay, if I go to a garage sale and I see a table and there's a gold necklace and there's a rushed in octopus, I think I'm going for the octopus. I'm, I, I just think I'm going for the octopus. That's all I got to say. Okay. And you can see right here. Thank you very much. He is amazing. Excellent eBay or A plus, 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 plus $2,025 on that one. Hi, Courtney and everyone. I'm Christina. Uh, my husband Scott and I, we are the Trading Post Pickers in Eastern Tennessee. We have an eBay, YouTube page, and Instagram. We're happy to have joined your page and are looking forward to meeting everyone and learning so much more because we're still kind of new to this game. So to answer your question, um, whether it's gold or Rushton, depends on the amount of gold. <laughs> if we're talking about a flake, then maybe we'll go with the Rushton. If we're talking about like a bar, then we'll probably go with the uh, gold. So we can share the uh, gold with the kiddos and stuff. So well, Scott and I wanted to thank you guys for all you do and everything that you share. We learn so much from everyone out there and we're looking forward to working with everyone. Thank you. Have a great day. Okay, you guys, I am over on Mercari. So let's look at some of the Rushton that have sold on Mercari. Again, you can sell big money bolo items on Mercari and Poshmark also. Um, one thing that I will say about that I like about eBay for Rushton is you can do an auction and you can start the auction high and see if you get a bidding war. You can't do that on Mercari and Poshmark, but I'm going to show you some of the other big money solds on uh, Mercart and Posh so you guys know what to look for. And as we're doing this, you've seen a few people who have told me if they would rather find a Rushton or gold. And we're going to have a few more as the video goes. So let me know if you like these little add-ins. Um, I thought it would be fun just to kind of uh, interrupt the flow of the category video. So this is a rubber face, extre extremely rare white bunny, no tag vintage. So there's not even a tag says it's from the 1950s and it sold for $400 on Mercari. It's incredible. Here's another little cutie Rushton bunny with egg. And you can click on this and it will um, take away the, the banner. So super, super cute. Again, if you guys aren't selling on Mercari and Poshmark, I do have links down below where you can join using my link. Um, this one is a Rushton web duck, $400 on this one. But if you use my link for Mercari, they have a great deal. When you sign up, you get $10 to shop. Here's your tag you're looking for. And then once you sell $100 in items, you get another $20 to shop. So they really, um, they motivate you to shop. And right now they're doing like a $20 coupon if you list. So um, they encourage you to come in and uh, list and they give you money to spend. So it's incredible. I love that about Mercari. So think about it if you're not on there. What I do is I start on list, um, I start my items on eBay and then I use list perfectly to cross post and I cross post to Mercari and Poshmark from eBay. And I do have a link down in the description of the video that will tell you how um, I do that. It's a video and you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word to get 30% off your first month of list perfectly. So definitely take advantage of all those Referral links because you guys get um, discounts and free money, right? And I also get a bonus. So uh, I appreciate it when you guys use those. All right, let's see. No tag on this one. I'm trying to show you guys the different tags. This one sold for 380. It is just stinking cute. Rushed in happy face puppy. 380. Hey, Bolo buddies. How is everybody? There's Wiley in the back seat. 
don't know if you can see him. Uh, my name is Carrie, and my YouTube channel, my eBay store, Poshmark, everything is be carried away with a K. And um, in response to the question, it's a tough one. I think I'm going to go with gold just because um, I want to try to get into jewelry and it's not something I know anything about. So if I found some real gold, I think that would be awesome. And I would really I probably would uh, spike my interest in researching and learning more about jewelry. I have started to sell a little bit of plush thanks to Courtney on Bolo Buddies and a bunch of other YouTubers. Um, I've had kind of medium success with some really fun plush. I love plush, but I'm going to go with the tried and true and I'm going to go with gold. So nice to see everybody. Thank you, Courtney, for doing this fun video and all your fun videos. And um, I'll see you soon on my YouTube channel with some more content coming up in the next couple of weeks. Bye. This one is a Rushton reserved for gummy. Look how cute it is, $375. Oh my goodness, here's the tag. So a lot of times the tags are gonna be kind of frayed like this. That's okay, they'll still sell. Hi, I'm Cher, Grin and Grandma. And I'm here because Courtney asked a question of each of us Bolo Buddies members. The question is, would we rather find gold or a Rushton plush? And it's not a simple question, so I had to use my, my thinking cap. Okay. Courtney, how much gold? Here is a vintage Rushton Star Creations bimbo clown rubber face. And I know some people hate clowns, so sorry. Um, but I had to share this one because he sold for $300 and he's got some condition issues. Let me uh, pop in here on this one so you can see this is another rushed in star creation. Hi, Courtney. It's me, Yvonne, also known as Mom Knows Treasures. And you asked us to choose between if we had this incredible day at the bins or at the thrift store, what would we prefer? either a Rushton toy, a rubber-faced plush toy, or gold. And so I did a quick search. Um, they have really sold for high prices. Ooh, I would love to find that Omar the octopus. Ooh, that octopus, look at this bunny, 1250 Okay, let's look at the 14 karat gold rings. Ooh. 800 that's nice 261 i'm gonna have to say rushed in they're more expensive bye guys come visit me on my channel and see you soon good luck out there and again if you go in and you search rushed in solds high to low you can look at all of the different rushtons that are going for big money over on mercari this is a great way to just get a quick visual of items to be on the lookout for when you're at estate sales, garage sales, thrift stores. Let's look at Mercari. This is a Rushton Santa Claus. This one sold for $155 on Poshmark. Here's another Santa, $145 on Poshmark. Hey, Money Making Mama here. I would love to find a Rushton, and here's why. I think they're the creepiest things ever, but I've never actually held one or touched one before. So yes, that's what I would like to find. I always hear and see other people discovering them and I'm a little jealous. This little one is so cute. He's crying. It's a vintage rushed and crying rubber face. It only went for 125. So I would think that if somebody put this on eBay, and they auctioned it off, it may have went for a little more because it is just in really great condition. And look at those little tears. Oh my goodness, the cuteness. All right, um, the next one is this Zip the Chip. Howdy Doody Vintage Rushton sold for 115. So let me know in the comments, do you guys think that the ones on Poshmark would have went for more on eBay? I think the Mercari ones looked pretty good, but um, these over here on... Uh, Poshmarks.
Hey, it's Rhonda with Got Junk in Our Trunk, and as you can see, I am mobile today. <laughs> I'm about to take my boys to play practice. They're playing two of the flying monkeys in Wizard of Oz very soon. So, yes, I do other things besides reselling. I got a question from Courtney this morning, and she asked, Would I rather find Rushton, or would I rather find gold? I had to really think about that one because I do sell a lot of different things. I love to find Rushton, and I have found Rushton several times in the past. Normally, I pay for that under $10. I don't think I've ever paid over $10 for a piece of Rushton, no matter what kind of condition that it was in. So I think I'd have to say gold, because then I could sell the gold and buy more Rushton. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good answer or not, but that's probably what I would do. Seem a little lower. Here's $100. 85 on this elf. This skunk is 75, 80. You know what I want to do? Let's go into all items. Rushton plush. Look at this. This one says not for sale. I wonder if it's pending on another um, website. Let's look at low to high. So here are some other Rushtons. Like this one's only 26 says not for sale, not for sale. So I'm guessing these items sold on another platform. And instead of just removing them, maybe they just put not for sale. I'm not really sure. This one sold for 35. I'm just so showing you some of the low solds. So Poshmark and Mercari might be a good place to potentially source um, some of these items that are maybe underpriced. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. What I need you to do is tell me in the comments if you had the choice between Rushton, a big money Rushton, and gold, which one would you pick? All right, you guys, uh, put that down in the comments. Let me know how you found the channel, and thanks for watching.